Come on, come on. What a performance. Big up the man, them. We handled Aston Villa. We beat them 2-1 at their home ground. They have lost now for the third time at home this whole entire season. I could not believe what man was seeing. I am so gassed though. Goals from Enzo Fernandez, Conor Gallagher, and Nicholas Jackson help us secure the win and move on to the fifth round of the FA Cup. If you as excited as I am, hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any new videos from me. And fam, man's gonna break down the game, but thank the Lord that we are through. I was not expecting this. Not at all. I did not expect this. And fair play. Fair play to the man. Then we executed everything perfectly. And even though Villa didn't play well, hey man, we will take it. Because the man them put away their chances, including Enzo Fernandez. Spectacular free kick. Spectacular bins it against Martinez. Bins. That's his own. Argentina teammate, he said, you ain't saving this. Top bins. And then you see the celebration. He took off his top. Enzo on the back. He's here to stay. Anyone that ever thought that he was, oh, yeah, he's looking for a new club. Chattings. I never reported any of that stuff because it was not true. And I knew that because Enzo is a proper Chelsea guy. He is here to fight for this badge. Big him up and big up the team. Man's going to talk about the team news, the lineup in it. And I was not happy with the lineup. We had Petrovic in goal. Right back was Malo Gusto. Centre backs, Axel De Sassi. Benoit Badia Shul. Left back, Ben Shuo. In midfield, we had Conor Gallagher. Enzo Fernandez. And Moises Caicedo. On the left, it was Nicholas Jackson. On the right, Noni Madweki. Up top, Cole Palmer. And damn, man, one, Thiago Silva did not start. I was not happy. Pochettino said that he didn't play him due to performances. Bearing in mind, Thiago Silva is the same guy who scored in the last game. Bearing in mind, he's been the centre-back that's been playing the majority of these matches. Ben Churro started, didn't he? He started the game, though, didn't he? Okay. So, nonetheless, that, I believe, is just chattings. That's Pochettino. Trying to just make up any lies, like he told us lies about Ben Chuo, about not saying wolves and all that kind of stuff. This is due to the fact that Bell Silva commented on his um commented saying he they want Pochettino to get sacked. That's really the reason why. Part chat, fam. We had two games last week and Thiago Silva started both of them. He's played the majority of these games at centre back. He's he's play he's been our most regular centre back this whole entire season. If we're going to be honest, so for me, the seeing him not starting the lineup, I was so shocked. Mm-hmm. I was so scared. I was not happy about it. I wasn't mm-hmm. even Nick, even not seeing Nkunku start. I wasn't happy. But besides my personal feelings, if you look at the first five first five minutes, Aston Villa were on us, but after that. We took control. We absolutely took control. Nicholas Jackson's on the left-hand side. Dribbling past, man. Making it look easy, you know. Making it look easy. Gets inside. Gives the ball to Noni Madweki. Noni Madweki lays it off for Conor Gallagher. And this probably isn't the first time he's ever had this chance this season. But he finally scores. Puts the ball in the top corner. 1-0 to Chelsea. I'm there thinking, wow, we're actually 1-0 up. I can't believe it. I thought we were going to lose 3 0. But there's more surprises to come. Aston Villa continue to be poor, continue to give the ball away. They cannot take their chances. They won't get into a side of our box. They having balls go out of play. Like they are not moving like the Aston Villa that man's been seeing this whole entire season. And off that, within the next 10 minutes or so, Nicholas Jackson makes it 2-0. Great play. On the right-hand side, Malo Gusto finds Nicholas Jackson with a great ball. And brilliant header, Nicholas Jackson. Big you up. We are 2-0 up. And at that point, I'm there thinking, what has man seen? 
How are we playing this good? How are we already 2-0 up in 20 minutes? You have seen our performances recently. We have been abysmal. But today, the team was saying, uh-uh, uh-uh, none of that. None of that. We are not going out of this competition. I big you guys up for making that statement. Enzo Fernandez was absolutely brilliant. The team was absolutely brilliant. Like, we were doing everything correct. Everything was going right for us. Everything was going wrong for Aston Villa. And that's the best way that I can put it. 2 no up at the end of the first half. We are literally cruising. Cruising. Second half. Hey, man. Second half. Enzo Fernandez eventually gets a free kick, fam. And you see this free kick? Oh, my God. Top beans. Top beans against Martinez, one of the top four keepers in the Premier League. He's one of the top four keepers in the Premier League. And Enzo bins it. Top beans. What a goal, fam. Enzo Fernandez. And that is man center mid. I always put respect on his name. And people need to do the same, fam. This is a guy that can do everything. Everything. He can do everything. And he, for me, one day he will be the best midfielder in the world. I solely believe that. And performances like today prove it. Because we know he has the passing ability. But when you can take shots like that, come on, man. He has everything. He has everything. And man is just absolutely so, so happy that he is here at this club. That's why we, we are so enthusiastic with him after that celebration. He is proper Chelsea. He's here to stay and fight for this badge. And everyone today fought for this badge. Everyone did. Everyone. Noni Madweki might not have been the best performer, but everyone fought for this badge today. And we put on a spectacular performance. I am not going to be so be like, oh, yes, um, Pochettino is down to him and whatnot. It's down to the players, bro. I, we can say that Pochettino is in put Enzo Fernandez and Caicedo more close together. But this is kind of, um, but this is, this shouldn't be rocket science. After the performance last week, why do we have to, why does, why does the reaction after the last game have to take this? You should have been proactive, proactive. Even today, we heard reports about playing three at the back. There was no three at the back. None whatsoever. None whatsoever. And for me, the fact that we played so good is a testament to how bad Aston Villa was today. This is similar to us playing against Manchester United at home. They were absolutely crap throughout the whole entire season before that match and when they played us we made them look like the best thing since sliced bread literally the best thing since sliced bread we made them look so great so great but now i could say the same thing about aston villa the only thing that will change my mind is when we have crystal palace then the week after we got Manchester city if we can somehow we can somehow have a similar performance in those games, then I'll hold my hands up. I will be like, yeah, Pochettino, you can have something to say. But today, it's one game, just one. Two games, three games, four games. These are the things that matter. Can we go on a run? Can we? Because the best thing we've done this season is go three wins in a row. And if somehow we can beat Crystal Palace, then somehow beat. Man City going into the Carabao Cup final against Liverpool, then we can start believing more in Pochettino. But I do not believe. I am not on his side. I don't think he's the answer. Games like today, it makes us look great. But it makes Aston Villa look even worse because they'll be like, how did they lose to Chelsea? 3-1, being 3-0 down at home. That's what they'll be saying. The same thing we were saying about Wolves. How could we be losing to Wolves at home? These are just games, and we have to take these results because this is the cup competition. And I've been saying our best chance of having a successful season is winning cups. The league is finished. 
the best thing for us to do is to win the cups and the fact that we are in the hat for the next round playing against Leeds at home a team that's not in the Premier League we should be I don't want to be looking out over them but man this is stuff that man would normally do looking ahead looking ahead to the um semi-finals because the next round is a round of 16. This, you know, the round after that will be the quarterfinals, the last eight. So, man's looking forward to that one. And man will be at the next game at, in the FA Cup. So, it won't be a watch long for the next FA Cup match. But, yeah, man, I'll be real. Big up the team for the performance. I am so happy. So happy that like every Chelsea fan is happy. Big up to the Wave fans for the support. The support today was amazing. And like I've said already, big up Enzo Fernandez and the man them for the performance. You guys were terrific. Hope to see more things like this. Pochettino, it shouldn't have to take you this long or have all of these hiccups for you to do things like this, to change a couple of things. Shouldn't have to take you this long. But this is why I don't believe in him. So on to the next one, Crystal Palace on Sunday. Let's see what happens. But on that note, you guys, let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comment section below. Like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, Snapchat, and Facebook for more Chelsea content. I'm CFC British Blue, and I'm out. Peace. Come on, Chelsea. Come on, Chelsea.